Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Today we've come over to our queen rearing apiary where we intend to start preparing for queen rearing. It's still quite cool but what we want to do is to start building up the colony that's going to be the cell builder colony. So we're going to do an inspection on all of the colonies we have here and then we're going to select some extra frames of capped brood and then we're going to put that into the cell builder colony to build that colony up in strength so that it's got the maximum amount of bees. What we're trying to achieve is a near swarming capacity within that colony so that when we make them queenless and we introduce some young larvae that they're all going to mob handedly start feeding those larvae with royal jelly and turn them into some really good queens. So we'll go through, start doing the inspections and then we'll get the film rolling and I'll show you some of the frames that we're going to put into those colonies and we'll show you the colony that we've selected and why we've selected it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Uh, we've got lots of videos in our back catalogue and we're now just waiting for the warmer weather to arrive before we really get into the beekeeping here in the UK and it would be great to have you along. If you're new to beekeeping and you're just getting started, then do check out our Getting Started series of videos that we've just launched and you'll find it as a playlist named Getting Started 2017. And you'll find videos building through the year where we're going to take a nucleus colony and build it up through the year into a full-size colony. Um, so if you're new to beekeeping, it would be well worth taking a look at those. So let's light the smoker and head off into the apiary. had to add a voiceover clip because the traffic noise was excessive. Anyway, uh, the colony that I'm inspecting here is the one that I've selected as the cell builder colony. I chose this one because the bees are quite calm and the queen is an older queen. We're going to be using a cloakboard method of cell building here and because of that I need to use an older queen rather than a new queen. This is because a new queen would have a strong queen pheromone and it may well filter through the cloak board whereas an older queen is losing her pheromone and it's easier to block it out from the top box. I'll explain more about this in a future video. Firstly I'm completing a full inspection of the hive to make sure there are no queen cells of any type so that we don't have a colony that's going to suddenly swarm on us. It's a standard inspection and uh, I didn't find anything out of the ordinary. The other point of focus uh, for this inspection was to check for disease. It's really important that all the colonies used in any queen rearing process are free from disease and fit and healthy. We'll need to break the colony down in a week or so and set it up for our queen rearing but I'll show that whole process in another video. For now I'm just building up this colony with capped brood from other colonies. Okay so I've just checked this colony, it's really healthy, it's got lots of brood in so this is the colony that I'm going to use as my cell builder colony. So what we need to do is to get another brood box on top of this to really ramp up the number of bees that we've got in the colony. So I've got one prepared and ready. And we'll just ease that onto the bottom box. And then I'm gonna take all of these frames out. These frames have got foundation in. And what we're going to do is we're going to take frames from other colonies, shake the bees off and just fill this up with brood and stores so that the bees can really get going. So we're going to take frames similar to this one and this is from this colony so we'll pop that in there and then we're going to just go around the other colonies and add some brood to this to really build it up into a really strong colony. So here I'm just going through several colonies, inspecting them for disease to make sure that they're all healthy. And then I'm looking for frames of capped brood. So specifically 
brood that has been sealed that will emerge over the next week to 10 days and really bolster the numbers of flying bees that we've got within the cell builder colony. A lot of these bees will become nurse bees and they'll be feeding the larvae that we insert into the cell builder colony. So we want to get as many bees in there as we possibly can. So I ended up with around six to eight frames that we added to the cell builder colony and that's going to really help when it comes to producing the very best queens that we possibly can. So what we have here is the extra brood box and I've now loaded it up with extra frames of brood from the other colonies in, in the apiary and some food as well. So they've got plenty of food stores and they've got now masses of brood that's going to emerge and really build this colony up. One important thing to say is that you must make sure that your bees are healthy before you start moving frames from colony to colony. Always do a health check first and if you're in any doubt at all don't then use those bees for a cell builder colony because you run the risk of spreading disease. Uh, these all look really healthy so I'm really pleased with this. We're going to close them up now. Over the next week or so all of this brood is going to emerge and then we're going to be in a position where this colony is going to be on the verge of swarming. So we're going to have to monitor this colony really closely. So I'll just get the queen excluder back on and then the supers and then we're all set for raising some queen cells. So we've set the cell builder colony up now, that's looking really good and hopefully in a week or so we can go back in and show you the result of having so many bees in there. But we're going to be very careful because they are on the verge of swarming when they have so many bees. If you haven't yet subscribed please do consider subscribing, it would be great to have you along. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and thanks to everybody that's supporting us via our Patreon page and I'll leave full details down in the description below. And one last thing, don't forget the Facebook page. Go to Facebook and search for Stuart's Beekeeping Basics and we've got a growing group there of fellow beekeepers that are only too willing to help with tips and techniques and suggestions should you have any questions. We'll catch up next week but for now thanks for watching.